I think so. So what are you going to do? Scrub her? So this is the fuel lift pump. This pulls fuel from the tank and it pumps it into this and why they do this I don't know but this is a little spill thing and it just lets the fuel in and then when the fuel gets to this level then it floods back to the tank. So it's yeah. a constant supply. So this is always full. This is always full and you've got a sight glass over there on the other side. Well you need a piece of glass for that. Yeah. What size is it? Five eighths? Half inch. <coughs> And so then these have a plunger in the bottom that's run with the cam. And then there's also, these have an intake valve that looks like a needle and seat. And this plunger here is run by a camshaft. And the camshaft <laughs> lifts this valve up. By how, when the governor gets enough, it lifts the valve off of the seat and doesn't let them have as much fuel. And you can see that it, when you do this prime, you can see that it'll oh, So when you rock it to prime, it moves that. It actually pumps, pumps the this. plunger. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, there was a lot of thinking going on. The little channel here is open all the time. So the mice come in here and they you know, it was full of rat turds and everything else. Oh, and, they oh, oh, and they piss all over everything. It freezes up. Oh, yeah. I, well, these two little springs here, they go through this, and they they just look like a valve stem. And I, I'll tell you, I didn't think they were coming loose. I figured those were over. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
speak to me. What did you do for Christmas, Mr. Phillips? I played with about ten tons of junk. Really? <laughs> Is that what we just saw? That's what you just saw. That was junk? That was junk. But it revived was revived again. Revived junk. Revived junk. So what that was hasn't run for twenty, thirty years. It was a little tough to get started, as you see, but we made it. What was the secret ingredient? Heat. Heat? Heat. How did heat work? It aided in the combustion process of the diesel engine. So you made a summer's day out of a winter's day. That's right. And we had ignition. So the machine itself was in good shape when it was stopped? Mm -hmm. It was. How did that work? Uh, they pickled it fairly well, obviously, and uh, was able to get it where it needed to be. What do you mean by pickling? Uh, positioned the engine so the water couldn't get in it, oiled parts properly, and greased, and etc. Except for the fuel filter. Yeah, the fuel filter was rather interesting. And have you ever had a flywheel go on that easy? No. So that's, that's still interesting. So how many of these have you built now? Four. Four Fairbanks Morris. Right. And this one's interesting because? Uh, it's a smaller size. It obviously wasn't built a great number of them before they changed over to the bigger engine. And. Uh, this was a changeover engine from the hothead engine which had a flow chamber on the top that you had to preheat to get it going. This is an advantage because? This one's a direct injected engine and operates strictly on its own heat, which we had a little trouble creating, but we did do. So this is the precursor to the modern diesel engine? Pretty much. The modern diesel runs very similar to what this is. It's a direct injection engine. Uh, it's not a, modern engines are not two cycle engine which fires every stroke. This engine fires on every turn. All cylinders. So this is a two stroke? This is a two stroke engine. And they went to four stroke diesel engines at about what year? Uh, it's hard to say where they, they bounce back and forth from, where the, from two cycle to four cycle. When you're dealing with this much iron, it's much more advantageous to be a two cylinder engine because you're a two cycle engine you can get horsepower from every piston travel, not every other one. And is the single cylinder a two cylinder a two stroke or a four stroke? That's also a two stroke. The six cylinder is also a two stroke. So if they were building a smaller engine it might be to their advantage to go with four stroke right. in this period. A little more torque out of a four stroke engine to a limp to a point, but when you're dealing with this size of an engine, then you go back to two stroke just because of the mass. Anything else? That's all. That's what you say? Are you ready for lunch? You bet.